four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, positive, do, 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 Hey, welcome to Slappercast, episode 224. No. Two, yes. Yeah. Yes. 223.5. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Math on the fly. I love math. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Meth. You meant meth. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, welcome everybody. We are Brenham. traveling home from a little place called Branham. Branham. And uh, wow, wow, what a night. Great night. I'm gonna say it again. Kids, check out Home Sweet Farm. I said it tonight, uh, actually two weeks ago on stage. <laughs> um, I said it um, on stage at Home Sweet Farm in Brenham, Texas on that Friday night, the 19th of May. I said, if you're just joining us, boys and girls, we are the Mighty Orc. We're out of Houston, Texas. Why did I say that? Because we're not obviously not the Mighty Orc, right? We're laggards, right? Obviously. Yeah. Why did I say that? So, it must be a couple of years ago now, the Mighty Orc, who we've mentioned many times and we've had on the show. Hello! Monster guitar player from Houston, Texas. And one of the nicest people you're going to meet. Great photographer, too. Yep. Uh, likes a little bit of photography. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more, say no more. <laughs> Look, are you insinuating something? Oh, 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 yes. I had asked him about this place. I said, hey, you playing Brenham? He goes, oh, I can't do an impersonation of, of uh, Mighty York because he's, uh, he's uh, Asian. He's not. Just kidding. Freaked out as soon as I said Brenham. He goes, this is my Mighty York impression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I got. Yeah. So he goes, uh, oh, blackguards would kill. I mean, and he, he's an animated guy anyway, because he's a, he's such a, he's such yeah. a, yeah, such a soulful, all you know? the time, yeah. Yeah. And he is, uh, and I've seen him with people that he's not crazy about. And he's, he's not that way all the time. He seems like he is, but he's not. Oh, really? So yeah, he is. He's just. I want to see on an on animated orc. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He is, I want to uh, see what that's like. Mighty orc or cute, by the way. Look him up. If you don't know, wonderful, wonderful chap, amazing talent, great singer, killer guitar player. Anyway, I could go on, but um, can you do an imitation of unanimated orc? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, but anyway, he freaked, he freaked out. I'm asking him about, ask, asking him about Brenham because I love Brenham. Yeah. We well, played out here many, many moons ago. At a, play, at a thing, an event called Sprang Thang. Sprang and uh, yes. it was uh, in a field, and it was a bunch of bands, and it was a tremendous event. It's uh, it's basically you go out there and you get treated like kings, and you play. You don't have to bring PA and stuff, but it's in a field, and they don't pay the bands because your payment is you get to play in front of a ton of people and food and everything's laid, everything is taken care of. Now, you, the professional musicians would say, I don't fucking want to do that. However, this event, it's a great networking thing. It's good. I, I, I know, and professional musicians are all like, fuck that, we don't need, we can't pay our rent on exposure. You know, rubbing elbows with or talking to, it doesn't, but it is kind of, it's its own thing. It really is, it's, it's an old thing, excuse me. So, uh, we, uh, got talking about Home Sweet Farm, Brenham, Texas, Cameron Crawford, and I called him up, and I, 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 uh, I, I talked to Cameron on the phone, and what you saw tonight, what you saw last time we were here, what you see every day at Home Sweet Farm in Brenham, Texas, is you see Cameron Crawford, like the Mighty Orc, hey, how you doing? You yeah. know, and he is as boisterous, and as, I mean, just, he's yeah. a big guy, and he's a big sweetheart, blah, blah, but he goes, oh yeah, because I know you guys. I'd love to have you out here. And I was just like, now, you know, let's go now. And remember, this is, this is a while back. So we went out there and we have not seen an upside down smile. We haven't seen any kind of belligerence. We haven't seen it. It's just been. It's just so great. It's, it's, it's no, like no pretension. A dream no, gig. Yeah. On last episode, yeah. last episode, 223, right? We, uh, we were just raving about it. Mm -hmm. We went out up. there, they knocked our socks off. Yeah, I, I expected it, but I'm still blown away. I know. So. Then, uh, real real fast, to the in the in the shout-out department, 
and all the way from San Antonio, Emily drove in. Yeah. For the show, thank you. And then out of nowhere, Mill and Karen Kanoff, who we haven't seen in a thousand years, they showed up. What a what a wonderful surprise that was. Terry and Greg Leach Terry from Austin, Greg Texas, Leach. that are coming to Ireland with us. Yep. They show up again. Just uh, blessings upon blessings tonight. Yes, and then Lori and Chris, and Lori just goes. Tara, I'll take care of the merch. Boom, in you go. <laughs> and everybody had everybody had fucking blacker t-shirts on. Yeah, everybody. It was Help. that family. They, 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 I know like, Shane had like, like fifteen kids. Yep. They're all Happy birthday, shirts. Shane! Two weeks ago now, but the whole family decked out in green blacker shirts. Yeah, that was what? badass. That was so cool. Yes, that's the proper way to do it. Yeah, so so wonderful, so wonderful. Heck yeah! Oh, and, and also a big 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 thanks to uh, Lori for. Uh, yes. Coffee at 1:30 a.m. <laughs> on a Saturday morning. <laughs> Thank you. 1:30 um, coffee. Give, give wow. me something else. Give me something else. What do we got? Any, any, uh, any, anything that stood out tonight? Man, uh, just everything we're talking about just just happened. I mean, everybody's just hanging on every single note that we played. The same. Attentive crowd. And, uh, Tara, what did you see from the cheap seats? I saw everything you saw. Just the amount of amazing people that showed up in one night. That was crazy. Yeah. That was like a record thing for me, at least. You know, yeah. Seeing that many people in one place. And that's just all the newer people that I haven't really met yet, fully met yet, or I'm still getting to know. Yeah. Uh, I was talking to one girl about it, and we compared it to a big family, because that's basically it. You know, every every show feels like that. Like, these shows feel like a family reunion or something. You know, yeah. Like everyone's coming together. Having, yeah. Like, it just feels like you've known these people for years, even though you're probably meeting them for, like, the first or even second time. You know, it's crazy, but it's really cool. But you see what we're talking about oh, yeah. as far as the... And, and, and do you think that it has any... Uh, you know, because we were always raving about Collins Station. Do you think that it has anything to do with the proximity to that area? Do you think there's a laid backness? Know. Is there a... I don't know. I think it's, it, I think it's just a... a it's it's a, this, this part of Texas. Yeah. You know? What about, what about you, Charbo? You got it kind of feels like its own island. Like, it's its own place. Doesn't it? It has its own vibe, its yeah. own place. Like, I mean, Brenham is a historic town. It's so cool. Yeah. yeah. Are we playing there tomorrow? Let's fucking play yeah, there again, man. Are we going I, back right now? I told, uh, yeah, I'll get turned around. I'll turn this <laughs> fuck around. I told Cameron, I said, hey, we're going to show up. And if the band's smaller than we are, we're going to push him off the stage. And he goes, cool with me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, uh, yeah, oh, my awesome. God. I'm blown yeah. away. I just, love how we were, I, I just knew it halfway through that first said I was like we're not stopping I just <laughs> knew it I was like we're not stopping how yeah. long did we play it just felt too good out there Must oh have been. close three. to three hours yeah yeah it was funny because when you got to the end uh you were saying oh we're gonna play a few more songs then we're done I, I pulled up on my phone and wrote a big text children of the grave what did you play next children of the grave uh, I didn't have to show you I intention of playing that. Yeah. The song that was on the list was uh, Christmas, but then I said, fuck it, we'll do it anyway. Yeah, we'll do it again. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a great closer. Three times of blessing my blue bells of blue It's a winter world alone without you It's a snow and ice paradise It's a winter world alone without you I wasn't sure if you were gonna do that because I was on the set much earlier. Yeah, well, I just changed it around because I was at first I was like they, they look like they're gonna get tired, but they built up in in energy as the light went on. Yeah, I mean they really did. It's like a dynamo. Yeah, they just you know. Yeah. Um, Psycho went over really well, man. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think there was 
one person not fucking singing, dude. Like, yeah. Nice. I, I looked up, I'm like, holy shit. Like, I could hear him over my ears. Yeah. Like, it was awesome. Yeah. I don't know. Well, that was when I looked around and saw how many people were singing Eastbound and Down. I was just oh, that was yeah. Yeah. Instantly yeah. yeah. Eastbound and Down, loading up and trucking. We go to this say cabin hut. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. I know. I'm not sure if I've killed it before on. Um, but um, I'm not sure if I killed it before. But uh, 500 miles, Proclaimers. Yeah. I don't like the song. I love the way we play. Let's go. And I will walk. Just to be the man. And I only like it because, like, we wouldn't have done it. We would not have played that song. Yeah. That song would have not been performed tonight had we had a mediocre to uh, less than, you know what I mean? Like a net less than, down. you know, enthusiastic yeah. crowd. We wouldn't have played it. No way. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And so we were doing our medley. You know, there's a 10 song medley, whatever it is. And again, that wasn't on the playlist tonight. And we went way over. We went, what, five songs over? Uh, I don't know. I mean, because we were supposed to end at 11. We were, yeah. you know. We oh, were, oh, okay, yeah. God, so, now we went way over. It. Yeah. So, it was just, it was a it was a riot. It was so good to see all our friends again, all the people that we've, and the dancing, and the, and the, the, the back and forth. The, uh, the I, I mentioned 500 just because I, I stopped singing to get them to sing the chorus. Yeah. And just like you were saying, Trevor, you can hear it over your monitors yeah. and your ears. You can hear it. And it was just loud. And I was like, help. You know, mm -hmm. take it. Fucking roll with it, dude. They're... Yeah. When are we back there again? I forgot. We should just we just should stay there. Just like fold our arms, sit on the stage, and just not move. <laughs> just have a sit in. No. Yeah. Uh, wow. What a night. I am just. I'm a. I'm a, I'm a like my good friend Rich Briggs said, I'm a buyer. It's just so great to have all our friends and our friends from Renham. We were we were mentioning it today on the just because we were raving about it on the way in, and I said, you know, I want you to know we are talking you know, shit about your town, you know, tune in. And, uh, of course, you know, Susan and her girls and that, they all knew they were full of shit. So they're just, uh, they're just going, you know, yeah, 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 whatever. But it's so much fun. They all know, they know the songs, they know the Slappercast episodes, they know the banter, they know that it's just, it's a dream. It yeah. really is. It's an absolute dream to play that. So I love the gal that thought we were from Namasota. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because you can't make a joke when I was saying. Well, I can't. I, I mentioned to them. I said, you know, um, I can't remember exactly what I said, but it was basically. Listen, we're all friends here. This is Brenham. All right. It's not Navasota. <laughs> don't go there. Don't please don't go there. If you're from there, please move here. You can stay with my friend Shane. He's got lots of room. You know, if you're if you're having a good time and you're enjoying yourself. You're in Brenham. If you're fighting and you don't, you know, there's not nice people around and you're in Navasota. And it was just, it's nothing against Navasota. Actually, it is against Navasota. Until we get a gig in Navasota, I hate Navasota. So, <laughs> so there you go. Um, but I started just ripping on them because we drove through it on the way in. Yeah. And we stopped at Rock and Roll Coffee at, in uh, yeah, that's uh, right. Navasota many times. Right. Actually, we even talked about playing there. Yeah. But so I, I, so I just picked on them and just decided to give Navasota a, a run. It's actually, it, it is actually a nice, it's a nice little town. Please don't say that I said, maybe edit that part, take that out. All this area, this Washington County and all our, the surrounding areas of Bryan and, you know, of course, Collins Station. And, but just driving into Brenham today, just it just warms me old cockles, you know what I mean? Aye. Wonderful. Everybody. My friend Cameron and I have, we booked a whole bunch of dates throughout the year. So please go to grinder.com, uh, sorry, homesweetfarm.com. And uh, I'm gonna break a little news. We're here, let's do it. I'm gonna break a news. We are uh, talking to Cameron Crawford at Home Sweet Farm in Renham, Texas, on, in this very month of May. Talk to him about a pirate festival at Home Sweet Farm. Guess what he said? Aye, Captain. Yes. So we're gonna do it. And I, I mentioned to him on the way out the door. Uh, 
you know, we can just turn one of these next gigs into it, not the next one. But, right. You know. Yeah. Why not? Maybe with Siri. Yeah. So he said, "Let's do it." Yeah. So, uh, Brenham, Texas, boys and girls, how was that bed? How was that bed and breakfast across the street? The Ant. Oh, it's beautiful. It's really nice. Yeah. Very beautiful. The Ant Street bed and breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, you liked it? Oh yeah, I'm so, definitely gonna try and stay there one day. <laughs> so the uh, well, how about night? Is day well, day well, Yeah. Either or, I'm Just, fine. Either. Yeah. It's def- most definitely haunted in there. I feel something. Uh, it's, is it? It's creepy oh. in there. It's very you just quiet, have, uh, eerily quiet, old, you know. Yes. Yeah. And gives off weird smells. And sounds, sounds like sounds like your dad. Mm, no. Yeah, no, <laughs> no one's uh, I don't think so. Yeah. So, so there's accommodation. It's a gorgeous town. There is bluebell ice cream if you want to go eat that shit. Go for it. We don't care. We won't judge it. I like it. You like bluebell? Yeah. What's wrong with it? Uh, have you had? Have you ever had real ice cream? It's hysterical. It's okay. It's what? I don't really eat a lot of ice cream. Well, there you go. So you're not a connoisseur? I'm a connoisseur. Uh, I'm a connoisseur. Yeah. I'm a connoisseur of ice cream. Yeah. Well, okay, let me retract that too. I'm, I'm a chocolate connoisseur. Okay. And, that makes more sense. Okay, so so let me, maybe Bluebell isn't that bad, but when your chocolate tastes like vanilla, you're fucking wrong. End of story. There's a brand, and I don't want to, I don't want to give, uh, you know, they're not sponsoring the uh, Cybercast yet. But there's a brand in Kroger. And uh, the name of the ice cream brand is... Moose Tracks? Private Selection. The name of the... Oh, the name of the brand. But well, the Moose Tracks is where it's at. That is the best chocolate ice cream I think yes. I've ever had. It? It's called Moose Tracks. Extreme Moose Tracks. Oh, Extreme Moose Tracks. It's like Extreme Moose Tracks. Perfect. Perfect. It is. Listen to me. Listen to me, kids. Any chocolate fans out there? I know we got Cybercast fans and we appreciate that. I know we got Brenham fans. We love that. If you're a chocolate fan, you gotta take my word for this. But you have to like big, big, big chocolate. This is not fuck around chocolate. <laughs> All right. This is not. This is not. That's the title. Yeah. <laughs> this is not. Uh, I mean, this is not chocolate for pansies. This is real fucking chocolate, and it's got big lumps of. of you, you know when you get like the chocolate fudge. Here, 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 here. Here's a bitch. Here's a. Here's a. A, 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 a vent. Um, you know, you, you, you know, you get that chocolate extreme or the the fudge brownie or the chocolate swirl or whatever, and you're just tiny little, you know, and they they could be just flakes of chocolate chips. They're not even, you know, they're not even worth mentioning. And you get those ice cream, and the the chocolate's kind of kind of um, uh, watery, and it's just it. moose tracks by private selection. Oh my god. Biggest chunks. I mean, you can get a you can get a chunk of chocolate in there like a baby's fist holding an apple. I mean, it's That's huge. Tough. I mean, it's just. I'm gonna have to go to Walgreens definitely. Like no, no, they, they won't sell it at Walgreens. This is real chocolate. I know, but yeah. I'm craving chocolate ice cream. Oh, <laughs> Walgreens. Okay. You know when, you, when you CBS. said that vanilla tastes like chocolate and vice versa, it made me think of the uh, the stuff you used to have fun slogging the the self the soft serve free ice cream at uh, Jason's. Oh, Jason's they? Really. <laughs> Oh, yeah. But that stuff is good if you, you know, if you ever get... Yeah, because it's you, free. No, 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 no. No, hear me out. It's... <laughs> it's <laughs> soft serve, soft serve at Jason Deli is only good right. if you, if the, if the sexy mood strikes you. Well, yeah. Because well, yeah, you rub like it all... As, anyway, anyway, we'll Pilots. stop. We'll stop right there. Me so, uh, yeah. Oh, guess what we're just passing? What? Rock and roll coffee? Rock and roll coffee. Oh. Yeah, it was back there. I'd, I'd go back. Fuck around time. chocolate sounds like a like a, a, a follow up song to Run Around Sue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that's but, but slightly racist. <laughs> Marker. Yeah. When your chocolate tastes like vanilla, that's which yeah. is watery. I, you know what I mean? Because people don't like vanilla. I don't like vanilla. Uh, I like Mexican vanilla by Amy's uh, homemade ice cream. Uh, they are out of uh, Austin. Yeah. Yeah. Which way? Oh yeah. Uh, it's H one hundred five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's to, uh, towards the left. Yeah, that was a cop. I know. Should we even have this on? Uh, can't really see your face. So we'll now. see you next week, folks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Turn it. All right. All right. Okay. Is he following us? Yeah.
Are you going to do another song or are you going to be dicks about it? I have the song. We got time for one more. All right. 